I think when we all think about orchids, we think about rainforests and tropical oases. Well, I'm actually in greenhouses with Lori, who is a member of the Oregon Orchid Society, who has kind of gone overboard, but <laughs> it's a wonderful <laughs> hobby. Thank you very much. My husband says I could have worse addictions. <laughs> That's so true. But thank you for coming and seeing my flowers. Well, you know, she has just so much experience, and she's going to pass on all those tips to us. So we're going to talk about all these beautiful species and um, orchids that we have here sitting in front of us. Well, I tried to get a selection of orchids and things that we can grow in our homes without oh, sure. necessarily having to have an, a greenhouse mm, and the elaboration true. of that. So I've selected some easy growing Phalaenopsis, Beautiful. which this little section is different, different kinds of Phalaenopsis here. So we've got some stripes, we've got some color splashes here. And then I've also selected pass. Pathiopetalums are actually also referred to as the lady slipper Those orchid. Are beautiful. So we have some really, really interesting pathiopetalums. So unusual. The color range from the two tone, and then there's a burgundy, the yellow. Now these two, how would you take care of them in our homes? They basically can live in a 70 degree temperature. Mm. Morning sun is nice. Um, it, uh, it really is important for you to find the right location okay. in your house. And again, if you if you find it and would create some humidity in next to your sink, um, in your kitchen, in your bathrooms, mm -hmm. these are really nice places to put them. They don't necessarily like direct sun, okay, but they do like to have like an a, a, an offset of some sunshine. Watering once a week. Easy. And stuff that they really are rewarding and they're really not difficult to grow at all. Well, you know, I've had one blooming, I think, for at least four months. Nice. And the flowers are just great. And it is even kind of adding some more buds to it. So nice. it, the stem's even elongating even more. It seems like you're ha it's in a happy place. It's very happy. Very, very good. A lot of people overwater their orchids, too. So really watch the watering okay. once a week or so and kind of keep an eye out, but let it dry out in between its waterings. Oh, I played around a little bit here with a mounted orchid. So that's, that's kind, kind of, of fun. Sure. Uh, some cork. And that's, and that's just a, requires a little misting every day. Oh, very easy. And then we can move over here to some paths, paphia petalums, mm -hmm. with, again, some more lady slipper orchids in different colors. Now, what's this one with the long foliage? That's a cymbidium, often Beautiful. referred to as the corsage oh, orchid. Sure, sure. And again, this one has four spikes on it, and oh, it seems it. to be pretty beautiful. happy. Another one here. And then right here, we have a cattleya. Beautiful and uh, cattleyas are something that I've recently gotten interested in and, and tried to uh, get a little bit better at growing them. They are a little bit of a challenge, but also, like sun, can live in the house, but are very, very, very rewarding. Well, I know with these um, cymbidiums, I did notice that outside of the greenhouse, you have a whole stand of them with some shade cloth on them. So they're outside. It's kind of early in the season. I bring them out at, after the last possibility of some frost. Mm -hmm. They really don't like to have a frost after they've been in the greenhouse. Sure. So I bring them out in about now and uh, let them stay out all the way until October okay. or the first of November. They like the temperature change. Oh, okay. And then the flowers will come in the winter time? Does it spike? They after start you bring to them in? spike when you bring them in. Uh, they're heavy fertilizers, so okay. give them a little osmocote or some fertilizer. And uh, all these varieties we can uh, see more and more at s several of our shows. The oh. Oregon Orchid Society puts on several shows shows uh, in the spring and in the fall and there are 30,000 species of orchids and that would be a wonderful opportunity if people wanted to come and see more of the, <laughs> of the kinds of orchids. Uh, so if you want to feed your addiction about orchids or learn anything else, please go to Gardentime.tv. We'll click you over their website and get so much more information or even stop at one of their shows or their meetings. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. You've really brought so much information for us. Thank you for having me.